Guess it's time for introductions. I guess it is time for introductions. Hello everybody, my name is Starbracer, Nathan. And today we're going to continue our journey through the Sector 7 slums in Chapter 3 of Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Now, first we're going to look around our room before we uh, investigate what that noise is. <laughs> the music. Dun dun dun. What's that noise? Also, Cloud jumping out of bed that quickly and like battle stancing? That was that was sick. Hmm. Hello neighbor. Hey. You okay in there? Oh. Coming in. But he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. No, 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 he says. Good, Cloud. Good. Honest. Well, now, you must be Cloud. I'm Marl, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything, even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. Two things about Marl. One, she's awesome. Two, she has chocobo hair. Ah. <sighs> Glad I got that out of my system. Welcome to the slums during the day! It's gorgeous! It is so beautiful. <laughs> got kids playing in trash. You got people just like, you know, living life in the slums, man. Life in the slums. Plus the, um... The main 
theme of the game playing in the slums too is such a nice touch. Gotta say was was not what I was expecting at all. Um, and again, like um, like before, we have a lot of dialogue. However, this is kind of the deal we're gonna have to cut. The dialogue comes up on the sidebar of the screen with subtitles and for some of the game that's gonna be how it is there is a lot and if i focus so much on the dialogue we would have one hour episode after one hour episode of what is 40 minutes of, of talking and no progress i'm gonna try to focus on on dialogue because it's all amazing and the voice actors all did such a great job and I gotta hand it to all the people that, that had a part in the world building of, of, of townspeople. So with that in mind, we're gonna walk the streets to 7th Heaven pretty slowly. We're going to continue on thus, and just kind of covering it, every part of it as we go. And, um, cause we gotta meet Tifa for the filters, right? Side questing. Perfect timing to casually walk downtown so they blew up a reactor so they could save the planet more like they want us to give up our way of life there will be no way of life for anyone if we kill the planet so the environmentalists say but i say people and their jobs and their families have to come first otherwise what's the point hmm. nothing to report maintaining surveillance Oh, being a spy is so cool! Holding position until night. We'll report any developments immediately if My husband decided to go to the station and see if it had gotten any better. The bombings made such a mess of everything. Hey, you finally fixed yourself. I'm glad you're walking around. Not like around in circles, but I mean like around... Yeah, sorry. Bound to change for the better, no? Keep dreaming, buddy. <laughs> Here's the drinking all day long. Get your chili beans. The sector seven favorite. <laughs> Y'all won't find better beans <laughs> even on the bomb. Plate. Ain't your fault. <laughs> Blame it on the bomb. Sounds like a you got any indie band. Oh, I can't go house. back there. Another day I can't work because I can't get plate side. I'm getting sick of this. Probably so crowded. Is there like else? a new favorite pickup line down in Wall Market? Who the hell knows? A friend of mine's an aspiring actor. If you're interested in seeing Loveless, I could ask her to help get you a ticket. Are they expensive? You could probably afford a standing ticket in the Grand Circle. Strange questions about the Seventh Heaven, about Barrett and the other. Stamps the wall. Get the job done. Bravest dog of all. He's there when you something, something. He gave you that line too, huh? You ever take a stroll down Colbert Street? Let's see if we can oh. cut a deal with one of the shops in Sector 3. If not, you can always ask Shinra. They won't do us any favors. I've chatted with There's that so many guy people a few who times. just don't get that the like planet is a living it's thing. It's actually pretty chill. Shinra's brainwashed him. <laughs> Kitty! Oh! Thinking I might have dinner at 7th Heaven tonight. Oh! Yay! He meowed at me. He can tolerate me. Cause that's what cats do. Tolerate. Deal with. Morning. Hey. Just so you know, Marlene's still asleep. <sighs> Let's get down to business, shall we? Huh? These water filters won't replace themselves. <laughs> Although the next batch probably could, if Jesse put her mind to it. <laughs> Most every home in the area has one. Folks love them, because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place. And it's easy money, too. <laughs> we bring new filters, collect the old ones, and get paid. What? <sighs> Give me a break. 
I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you say? Uh. Please? <sighs> well, let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the Grand Tour. The Grand Tower. Ugh, those Tifa shoes, man. Go ahead Her most defining factor. Reflect. Seeing as you didn't bring any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff you need to buy. Everyone's worried Thanks. they're gonna run out of money. And don't worry, we'll pay you the day. difference after. Barrett's out making his rounds too. Don't take your eyes off me! Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you, thank you! I I know I am Cloud Strife, thank you. Hey there. Here to change out your water filter. Tifa, baby, how you doing? Been waiting for you to... Wait, who's he? Cloud's in charge of collections. He'll take your money. Sounds like a pretty sweet gig. If you ever need someone to fill in, I'm your man. In your dreams, maybe. Huh? Cloud! <laughs> uh, since we're here, maybe we should do a little shopping. Suppose I could take a look? Cloud has just no, <laughs> no filter. <laughs> Topical. Um, so this guy is gonna sell us first off the most important thing he has, the Prelude. It's like an original like version, but it's like a dance remix, so you can get up and dance it if you wanted to. Which, um, and then we have a lightning and an ice materia. Um. But I'm not sure what I'm going to be picking up later as far as magic. So we're going to hold off on buying that stuff. I'm, I'm honestly just here for the, uh, for the music. Now what I want to know is, can I sell... What can I sell a grenade for? For... Oh, 40. Okay. Um... Oh, and I can't sell the... Um, the Moogle metal. Interesting. Thanks. If you're ever in the market for anything else, drop on by. Especially if Teep is with you. We'll see you around, okay? And let us know when your filter next needs changing. Yeah, let us know. Oh, she's out the door. Okay, I'm on my way. He's a regular. Stock up here and he might throw in a freebie or two. For you, maybe. Well, uh, <laughs> you could try being a little nicer. To get free shit? Not my style. <laughs> <laughs> Our next stop is Stargazer Heights. Landlady's client. Just met her. Then you know what to expect. Remember, she's a good friend of Avalanche, so be nice. Please. You haven't played the original as well. Um, there is quite a bit of nonsensical thrown in language. Um, and just hearing Cloud nonchalantly throw that word out there in that sentence, it's, it's just funny. Hey, Marl. Got some filters for you. Tifa, my dear, dear girl. Oh, what's he doing here? <laughs> That's everyone's reaction to Cloud. Be nice. <laughs> Cloud's helping me with collections. You better take care of her. I'm pretty good at taking care of myself, you know. That I do. Still, better him than you. No charm, <laughs> no wit, big sword, but no skills. I've got skills. Be nice. <laughs> I'm doing I've got skills. Best. You're looking awfully glum. Are you getting enough sleep? A good long rest to cure anything, I tell you. A tried and true lesson for life on the ground floor, am I right? That you are. Now, your money. Thanks, Marl. You take care of yourself. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Response. Taking a break at a rest spot, like a, a blue bench or a bed, will restore all of your HP and MP, which is fantastic. You know I will be frequenting those as much as I can because I'm stingy with my items and money. Morrow's great. She helped get me set up back in the day. Watch, she's saying they're gonna step up their game. 
five years, wow. give or take. They uh, but never mind that. We've got to get you your money. Last stop is the weapon store. Hmm. Wow. Don't try anything funny or you'll get it. The kids seem to think you're pretty cool. <laughs> hey! That last filter didn't do shit! We're so sorry about that. Hopefully this one will work better. Save your excuses and get out! All right. Wow. If you could just settle your bill, we'll be on our way. The hell? You charging me for your busted ass goods? My associate handles payment disputes. Think you can mosey up in here and have it your way? Pretty please. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Seeing as we're done with our rounds and you've got a small fortune now, why not take a gander at the weapons? Well, when will Barrett be back with the rest? <sighs> Before we open up tonight. It'll be a while yet, so... What do you want to do? Don't really know. In that case, I've got a suggestion. Want to hear it? If you're serious about becoming a merc, then you're going to need to start making connections. It's not what you know, but who you know, you know? Hmm. Another lesson for life on the ground floor? Yep. Connections get you jobs. Jobs build your rep. And more rep gets you better connections. How do I start? Hmm. Why not help out the neighborhood watch? They're mostly volunteers, but you'll get to know people. Yeah, okay. Didn't see anybody at the office, so let's head up top. Video game stuff. No to know you people you and your safe and with a weapon of your own. Come and check out our selection. Speak with our friendly staff to find the perfect weapon for you and your needs. Who are you talking to? There's like five people in here, and they're all like... Obviously, like, weapon enthusiasts. I was gonna say something witty or something stupid before, and I forgot it now, but... That's your guys' loss. It's his fault. I want to find some items, so... I'm gonna look around. Uh, I don't see anything. Oh, I was gonna make mention of something that Tifa was saying about the rep and the... The people and the connections and the side questing and the experience and the items and the... Stuff that will happen most likely very shortly. Someone looks like they're having a bad day. Try getting more sleep. That's the best cure all down here. We're helping the watch keep watch. Ha! <laughs> Classic. After a oh. thousand, you'll be ready to hit up Jesse. Wow. Is that all you guys have to say? You don't have to say anymore? Hold on. Don't tell me you're you can do it. Yeah. Push it to the limit. Anything else? Guess that's it. Don't tell me you're making that face because you think it looks cool, are you? <laughs> what do you know? You're four. Oh, you want me to walk in myself? Oh, okay. Huh. Didn't know you were holding down the fort. Huh? Oh, uh, hey, Cloud. Looking to join the neighborhood watch? That depends. What does this neighborhood watch do? Uh, lots of stuff, really. But our top priority is taking care of any beasts that wander into town. That, and teaching the locals how to defend themselves. Like they say, the only one who will look out for you is you. Cloud's a great fighter, but only we know that. If no one knows him, no one will hire him. Thought if he joined the watch, he could get his name out there. That would work for everybody. Truth be told, we could really use your help. We can't pay you in gill, but we'll work something out. For example, aha, what about your sword? I could mod it for you. No thanks. It's fine just the way it is. What, you some kind of purist? I know I'd never pass up a chance to improve my gear. Come on. At least let me show you how it's done. <laughs> Tang. Oh my gosh, the detail in the sword is so cool. Um, 
Um, I don't know what this means, so we're gonna do the tutorial. Go. Enhance it. Upgrade. C character, go. Choose the weapon then, and it shows the SP you can use. It's 10 right now. Go. Oh, jeez, I'm in the matrix. Um, give it other things with unlock, which is the X button. And you only have 10, so don't screw up, you weirdo. Oh. Wait. Hmm. Wow. This is really cool. So unfortunately, it's not like modding as in you can give it an engine on it and it'll make you attack faster with this thing unless maybe it does do that eventually which would be very cool um punisher mode strong attack damage ooh ooh i kind of want that that sounds really cool cuz i like punisher mode um attack power up magic power up max hp we're going to do hp too Probably should have done magic power, but you know what? We're we're fine with our choices. And then that's it. Tutorial complete. You can auto you can automate SP. Oh really? Interesting. Gotcha. Unlocking skills has all kinds of beneficial effects, such as boosting weapon stats and increasing materia slots. Increasing materia slots. Let me just... Let me spell that out for you. That is I-N-C-R-E-A-S-I-N-G space M-A-T-E-R-I-A space S-L-O-T-S. Increasing materia slots. That is crazy. So if you could just... Oh, that means you could just use one weapon the entire game then, right? I like that. This ends the tutorial. Nice. Well, Biggs. I am a fan of what you have to offer me. All set? Needless to say, you'll have to try it out to appreciate the difference. Thanks. <laughs> we'll do you one better. Spread the word to everyone who'll listen about the new Merc in town. Between him and Wedge, there isn't anyone they don't know. I'll march through the streets singing your praises, even on an empty stomach. So, <laughs> where are these monsters? Scrap Boulevard. Good hunting. Hey, Cloud, I'll come with. No, yo, I've got this. But you don't know the way, do you? We don't. <laughs> <laughs> sure thing. I know these streets better than anyone. Join the party, Tifa Lockhart. Okay, um, dang, so first things first, because we kind of have to right now, um, we need to go here, neat, and now we're going to do what I wanted to do, I will admit, I hit the wrong button, I was trying to play it all cool, play it off like Cloud would, but I'm not Cloud, I don't even remember where I'm supposed to go, probably party, that makes sense. And we're gonna make Tifa the leader. How do I do that right now? Wait, can I not do it when I'm not like out in the field? Hold on, battle settings. There it is. <laughs> um, unbridled strength, dive kick. Do you have a spell on you? You do not have a spell on you. Do you even have materia? Hold on, guys. We're gonna... Oh! Well, I don't have anything else better to give you. But what I can do... Is give you fire. Oh, she has a... Command materia! This is our first yellow! Okay! So, command materias... Um, don't give you spells. Uh, but they do, they give you something called, um, well, a command. Which is kind of like using, um, Braver and, um, 
what is it, sword thrust bullcrap. So they're they're very neat. Command materia can be very strong and very useful. Um, allows you to restore your own HP and cure poison with chakra. That's cool. The amount restored is relative to damage received. And the more is restored, the lower your HP. What? Wait, do I have to be at getting attacked while using it to actually get the effect, though? Okay. Interesting. Um, well, with that being done, we're gonna head right to those, um, the, where the beasties are. I wanna do a little fighting in this episode. Scrap Boulevard is out west. Past the barricades, supposed to keep the monsters out. Anyway, we should prepare, just in case. Prepare? I'm prepared enough. Searching for candidates. Okay. <laughs> Who Wedge mentioned? That sword's massive. What does he sell again? Uh -huh. Wait, what does he sell again? I don't sell anything. Massive. What does he sell again? That who Wedge mentioned? Merchant? Merchant? No, not merchant. Mercenary. Gosh dang it, Wedge. You. <laughs> what does he sell again? <laughs> if any harm comes to <gasps> Hey, you know what you're talking to. Come on. Here, scrap Come on. I can see why monsters would feel right at home. And the more we pile up, the more they show up. Well, quit piling it up. Ooh. I would love this. Ice? You're telling me right now I have a choice to make between ice and something else? Um, Not. We're going to not. We're going to not. What's up, dude? Okay. I have no idea how Tifa works. So, bear with me as I figure out how Tifa works against these gorgers. Specifically, Gorger A. Tifa excels at close range combat and uses combos to deal lots of damage. Press square to execute a normal attack, or hold it down to deliver a single powerful blow. Unbridled, unbridled strength can be used to enhance her unique ability, as well as increase the number of attacks that can be chained together. And there's our first challenger. Show me what you got, Cal. Oh my gosh. And abilities, let's do a little bit of unbridled strength. Sure you can Well she has super simple, like straightforward wow. gameplay. So that's what a soldier looks like in action. This was just a warm-up. <laughs> I'll bet. Let's keep at it. He says as he was getting his face sucked off by an alien. Wow. Wow. Okay, Tifa. I, I see you. I hear you. Um, we're gonna go this way, though. It wants us to go the other way, but that just tells me it's leading me away from the, the goodies. Tifa's unique ability. As Tifa, you can press triangle to execute the martial technique whirling uppercut. That's the first thing I was taught in karate. That's so strange that they know about that in this game. That's cool. That's a lie. To access more advanced techniques, you must use unbridled strength to increase your chi level, or ki, however you choose to pronounce that. At level two, you will execute Omni Strike. Ooh. And at level three, rise and fall. Hmm. Upon utilizing an advanced technique, you will expend chi and drop one level. Wait, so she's literally got, like, build meter, do super? Wow. Tifa's material... Material? Tifa's, Tifa's material techniques 
Uh, martial techniques are effective against staggered enemies and will increase the damage bonus applied during that state. Okay, so you want to fight? Build up your 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 chi with unbridled strength, and then once maybe your your party, you know, you're doing their their stuff too, they get staggered. Then you want to pay all of that out. Cool. It's over. And dive kick has a lot of range. Good to know. Holy cow. Nice. So she's very much just kind of a, at first you're just mashing square at, until you build up stuff for unbridled strength. But holding it down to do um, a bigger attack to kind of blow away your your enemy, um, that's a good that's a good strategy as well. And we got more guys. Wow. Okay. Cool. So these enemies are super weak. You're good at this. Charging in like it was nothing. You too. It's a little surprising. Well, I've been here five years now. If you don't look out for yourself, no one else will. By the way, that one's gonna be on the test. This a lesson? <laughs> Gotta learn if you're gonna stick around. Okay, let's wrap this up. It's a comprehensive test. Come on! There's no escape! Gotcha! <laughs> Feel the heat! Weakness? Ooh, dang! All right. These things look to fire. I think that might be the last of them. They won't stay gone for long. Of course not. Even so, folks will be grateful for the peace and quiet in the meantime. A win's a win, you know? True. Trust me, it'll do wonders <laughs> for your rep. Right. Let's go check in with Biggs and Wedge. Good morning, Wedge. Just thought I'd come out here to the, uh... Scrapyard and take out some morning scallions. Okay, um. Is that all there is to do here right now? When I saw gameplay of this place, it looked much bigger. But actually, being here, it is very much not that big. Oh, that's a wall. Okay. Um. Okay, I'm probably missing things, you know, but that's fine. That's okay. If I miss it, I'll just make fun of myself uh, in editing. You want me to kill more gorgers so you can uh, take those words back, or I'm doing the best I can, dude. Got new numbers for monster slaying this month. Check you know, them out. Turf can be a touchy subject, and all. It's you! You're the merc everybody's talking about, am I right? Yeah. I knew it! So, the board here <laughs> tracks how many monsters folks have taken down, right? A bigger number means a safer town, and who wouldn't want that? Just between you and me, though, they're pretty much all your kills. Cool, huh? Anyway, keep up the good work. We'll try to make it worth your while. Interesting. And I get re Ooh. Oh, at 10 I get 5 poison. Po I have 5 poisons. At 20 I get a pair of revival earrings, which will revive you if your ears fall off. And at 50 you get an orb of- Ooh. I have to kill 50 enemies. Oh, is this gonna be a thing where each area has a, has a fiend slain counter? So then, if I clear the 50 here, I get the max rewards, and then like... And never came home. Yeah, I heard it too. I think you've got no authority down there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dang. Okay, there must be areas like this in each, each place. Even Walmart could probably have something like this. I'm guessing. I don't know. Um, we're actually about to get to where I've never seen before. But anyway, we're, we're gonna get right to... Uh, big switch. Back already? Got every last one too. Now the slum should be safe. You guys are machines. Good job. Meanwhile, we told everyone we could about you. So I heard. 
I've got to ask, though. What did you tell them? It's all right. All you got to do is keep up the good work. It'll pay off soon enough, I promise. How's the sword, by the way? Good. Glad to hear it. Seems like the perfect fit for you. Yeah. We've been through a lot. Go. <laughs> oh. oh. You okay? I'm fine. Been meaning to ask. After you left the village... It's a long story. I've got time. Why don't you tell me all about it while we try to wrestle up some more work for you? That sounds great! I'll come too! Oh, uh, no you won't. What? Run along now, you two. Sorry, Go on. maybe uh. next time. Huh? No fair! Uh, think about it for a second. They haven't seen each other in years. You'd be a third wheel. Uh. Mm. Mm. Hey, Wedge. before we get back to it, My why man. don't you check out the weapons? No need. Come on, the dealer's probably heard all about you by now. Might treat you better. I don't know about that. <laughs> That's great. Um. Well, okay then. Um. I think I'm formally going to end it there. Uh, for this episode. Um. I was thinking about cutting the episode at, uh... I don't know about that, kid. I think you should probably stop listening to people on the streets. Um, <clears throat> thank you guys so much for watching. Every part of this game, I, I like it more and I enjoy it more. So, you can even, like, from here, see the Seventh Heaven sign over there. That's so cool. Gosh. Dang. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching. See you next time. I hate endings, mainly because I don't know how to do them, and they're very sad.